Merry Vlogmas! Merry Vlogmas. Today, it's me, Dylan Meza. I'm gonna talk to you about my five favorite Netflix Christmas movies. And if these ain't on your list, you might need to go watch a few of these because they're pretty good. Now the rules for a list are simple. It's the top five, count them down, and they gotta be on Netflix in America as of right now. Now, number five, Holiday. I'll admit, I probably should never watch that one. It's a little vulgar. Try not watching bad movies when you have nothing but bad friends. Holiday story about, you know, two people like everyone else who's single right now. Uh, everyone's asking how in the world they're gonna spend their holidays alone and they got to figure out if they're gonna be alone or not and then these two people end up just making a, a move and they decide you know what we're gonna end up dating for holidays only yeah not really romantic but you know go watch it and see how it ends I guess you probably can't figure it out number four is actually pretty bad again too but uh, it is what it is my cousin made me watch it bad moms Bad Christmas moms, something bad moms. Bad moms Christmas, yeah. Nah, I, I Melania Kikinis, Melania Kikinis. The girl from that 70s show, she's in it. And a couple other good actresses are in it. Their moms are kind of ruining their lives around Christmas time. And you know, it's crazy, there's three moms in there and I think everybody can relate to those three moms that has a mom, so. Huh. No one really hates their mom. No uh, mom actually thinks their daughters are actually doing horrible things like in the movie, but around the holidays when everyone's getting a little bit heated, everyone's supposed to be getting along, and everyone's supposed to know what everyone else is supposed to do of the holidays. It's a very relatable movie, very vulgar, but it is very relatable. Number three. Sorry y'all, but we might end up ruining the first one, but Princess Switch 2. The so Princess Switch 2 is obviously the sequel to Princess Switch 1. It's got, oh my gosh, Vanessa Hudgens. She's up in there. She's not no longer a little girl from High School Musical. She's now a grown woman, and she's experiencing what life can be like as two different characters. One is actually the princess. One is not. And they've already become friends in the first movie, so now they decide, you know what? We gotta, you know, use the fact that we look exactly alike to swap Christmas on other people. The first one's a little bit better. Number two, of course, Princess Switch. The first one. Yeah, Princess Switch 1 is probably the way better one. It's probably a little bit more for anyone. Basically, it's the story that we all want. What would it be like? If I don't know where someone looked exactly like you, came up, showed themselves to you, and it's like, oh wow, we could switch characters. Well, that's what can happen whenever Vanessa Hudgens plays both the princess, Dom, whatever made up word they use in this movie for really rich, wealthy person. And then this, she's also playing this wholesome American girl who lives a very normal life. One that's actually pretty perfect for anyone else that I've met, but you know, whatever. Anyways, she ends up going to this made-up country, and they end up finding out that being each other and trying to live each other's lives is actually pretty difficult. But, has a holiday ending to it that you don't want to miss out on. Number one, Love Hard. What other kind of movie could you want at Christmas time? A movie that's actually kind of based in the 22 era. Something that's actually relatable. Millennials are on dating apps. Gen Z's on dating apps. Old people are on dating apps. A lot of people are having a struggle because nowadays most people ain't as social as they used to be and there's not so many social constructs that make people go out and meet new people. The problem is catfishing is also an issue in this world and that's what happens in the movie. It's obvious that it happens from the commercial. Don't think I'm ruining nothing girl she thinks she's talking to a handsome muscular dude and then out of nowhere she realizes that she's gone and met some guy who's definitely not who she thought she was talking to and then Christmas movie magic happens they start to get along and have to work together on some certain issue that's in their lives while this happens they actually get to know each other and they actually meet how does the movie end trust me 
you want to know. Kelly's Package, you wake up. Kelly's Package is actually not really into Netflix, but it, that's cool. You know, it kind of gives me a break. Well, there you have it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the five movies that I pick out of Netflix. Look, let me tell you this. Netflix, you got to add more movies back. There were way more movies in this Anyway, so those are the best five movies on Netflix. I hope y'all enjoy them. Go watch them. Hey, and if you think one is better, comment below what you think it is. Like and subscribe to the video. Thank you, Mary Vlogmas. Let's make it to day 25.